Welcome to this video where I'll show you how to quickly visualize data from data frames in Jupyter Notebooks using the Power BI client library. This integration means you can now directly render Power BI visuals within your notebooks. You can use this library on Pandas or Spark data frames in any Jupyter Notebook environment. This includes Fabric and Synapse notebooks, Databricks notebooks, Google Collab, Amazon SageMaker, and more. So I'm in a notebook in my Microsoft Fabric data engineering environment, where I have a table called products in my demo lake house. Let me read it in as a data frame. So now let me display it. So this is a Spark data frame consisting of four columns. When you're working with a Spark data frame and you want to render Power BI visualizations, and you want to do it quickly and with minimal configuration, then you can use the Power BI client library. The Power BI client library can be found on PyPy. It's also open sourced on GitHub, and I'll leave links in the video description. So the process is simple. You start by installing Power BI client using pip. So you could type pip install Power BI client. But if you're using a Fabric notebook like me, it should already be installed for you. You can then import the library or the relevant modules from that library. So I want the quick visualization and the get dataset config modules from this library. So from Power BI client, I will import quick visualize and get dataset config. Quick visualize will auto generate a Power BI report from your data frame within seconds. It takes in the data as an argument and you use this get dataset config method to prepare your Spark or your Pandas data frame for the Power BI client. So this method, get dataset config, will format this data frame so that Power BI can understand it. Let me show you. So let's import the modules and then I will do get dataset config and I will pass in the data frame. So that will be this data frame here. So as you can see from the output, the information is stored as a dictionary. You have the locale key, the schema, the columns, and the data itself. So now let's pass this into the quick visualize method. And run this. And it will begin rendering a Power BI report, as you can see. So as you can see, an auto-generated Power BI report has been created. It's interactive, just like with a regular Power BI report, you can cross-highlight visuals. Now, you can see the data that's being used in your data. So these are the columns in the data frame. You can make basic modifications to your auto-generated report. For example, by changing which fields are selected. So currently, this visual is created based off of category and count of rows. So if I add another one, so product name, for example, it will recreate the report based on that filter. When you save your report, you can give it any name and save it to your workspace or any other workspace of your choice. Great. So that was a video on the quick visualize method of the Power BI client library. It's great for anyone working with Spark data frames in Jupyter Notebooks as it speeds up the transition from data analysis to visualization and generates a report in seconds.